we go. We're here. We're live. Let's see if yep. we get some people joining us. Hopefully, I don't have too much of an echo today because I'm not in my normal office and I'm in the big room in front of me here. So no echo at all. You sound crystal clear. So perfect. All right, so we're going to talk about websites, and uh, I guess we're going to talk about websites vis-a-vis marketing, vis-a-vis building your photography business, and uh, mm-hmm. some of the elements and whatnot that we feel need to go into proper web design and strategies. Uh, the reason this topic came up was because you sent me a link to your new website, which we're going to get to in a minute. And I was quite impressed. had a few little ideas and thoughts to share your way. And I made some changes to it today, so. Cool. But before we get into that, how's it going? What have you been up to? And let's update. uh, Well, today we were able to open up to the public finally, because today stage two in Ontario starts a couple days early. So we were allowed to do commercial, like stuff like commercial headshots. We were allowed to do product shots, allowed to do real estate listings, things like that. But we couldn't have anybody in our studio unless it was for a commercial shoot we couldn't have them in here for anything personal such as family portraits passports photos graduation photos things like that so uh we've improvised we did outside a couple times but i I was having trouble lately at my studio to do it set the tent up outside because it was really windy here the last two weeks and that's no good no matter how much you stake it down and do this and do that it was just giving me a big hassle so i just told everybody just hold off for a week or two when we're allowed to open we'll get you in here so so as of tomorrow, allowed. Families, today, as today, of today. allowed in studio. Yeah. So you got to change your voicemail then because I called you earlier. I know. It just Well, All it right. just happened today. So I got to change that. And also, um, yeah. I think it's still some guidelines to how many you're allowed inside. Whatever the rules are in Ontario right now for indoor gatherings, it's probably like 10 people or something. I can't remember. That'll allow us to work. Yep. And then outside's up to 25. We were allowed to do outside before, but I had to stay in the guidelines up to 10 people. I was one of the 10. If I had an assistant, they were one of the 10. Things like that. But uh, no, we can now, I've actually got, what, two, I think three grads booked for tomorrow, high school grads for tomorrow, or Friday, sorry, for Friday. And I've got probably one passport already. And I got another one coming for hockey pitchers on Monday. So now that we can have people in, people are starting to call a lot more. Well, we hope that, uh, you know, it kind of sucks and you got to rebuild every time. You got to shut down, then you got to rebuild. But uh, we, last year, it all came back uh, like a flurry, a flurry, a furry flurry. Furry, and, furry. Uh, it was like a tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, just to update you on the our end here, we uh, we do we have two ferry days booked for the end of July, which is always an odd season for ferries, not premium. However, uh, I think we did one last year in the midsummer in Sudbury in our mm-hmm. city, and it was hugely popular. We sold out. Good. And uh, so we got another one at the end of July. And of course, we got one in your studio end of July as well. Mm-hmm. And I was just talking to my wife a couple of days ago because she does all the phone calls and takes all the emails and does all the bookings. And uh, uh, I'm quite impressed with the way things are going. You know, we always judge our bookings for those events according to the timeline. Like if we have a date set three months in advance, she'll start chomping at the bit, start promoting it. I'm like, it's too soon. It's too soon. There's sort of a, a sweet spot. And okay. uh, so we started promoting these about eight days ago. Yep. And boom, boom, boom. We've got bookings on both dates, uh, like very healthy numbers. So yep. it looks like, John, you might see us again. Well, I had two people, as soon as we po- I posted it on my site, I had two people contact. One was like, definitely she's interested in how to get involved with it. And I said, no problem. Just go to the link that's on there and they'll take care of you. Mm-hmm. And then... Literally a day later, somebody else said, oh, I'd be interested in that. I'm like, hey, that's awesome. The person who's in charge is this person. Go check with them. So people are it's, thinking about it. it so it, it works. And, of course, you know people. You're posting on your Facebook. We post on ours. And we run Facebook ads, yeah. which are geographically targeted to your exactly. area. And it's literally the minute I fire the ad up, I, we immediately start getting uh, emails. I'm glad we calls. corrected it, too, because we had it as – yeah. Friday, Saturday, but the <laughs> the dates were one day off, like twenty third, twenty fourth, something. But we fixed it, and that's I don't think me. anybody noticed it. Nobody noticed. I did it too on my website. I just went through. That's why I said the changes I just made to my website because I was. <laughs> it's been about a week since, or about four or five days since it went live. Yeah, that's, and that's uh, me. Me and numbers. I got to double check. I checked like ten times. I still had it wrong. <laughs> well, I had spelling errors, I think, and I also had I missed the word here and that, so I went and corrected it. And yeah. One whole page. I'll show you when we get on there. I totally forgot two pieces, and it was just 
written inside there the actual uh, paragraphs that come on the template that didn't yeah. even match anything of mine. I'm like, oh, I better change that. So, yeah, it's working out. So knock far, on knock wood. on wood. So um, I think people are anxious to do something. They're not really going to Wonderland or Disney or no, nope. and stuff like that. So a fairy day event is magical. It's definitely special. They love it, and uh, it's one of our most popular sessions. So uh -huh. we uh, we do get a lot more. Well, I don't know how much more, but we get a certain amount of inquiries. So we get exposure, and then we mm -hmm. get inquiries, and then we get bookings. We don't take anybody serious until they pay the lady. They got to pay their deposit. Yeah. Uh, they don't get in the books until that happens. I just want to point that out because I think that that's a very important strategic step. Definitely. So if we if we get ten calls or inquiries, you know, people reach out to us. I'm interested, and then we talk to them and we set it up. Okay. Here's your invoice. Pay the uh, ninety-seven dollars to pre-book your date. If we get ten, five of them we won't hear from again. What does that tell you? What do you think, John? Did I lose you? I lost. Yeah, sorry. No, I was watching you there. I just had to go and I just went and quickly uh, turned one of the lights in the upper head there because if you notice, I had a spot on the top of my head. <laughs> well, that, that's why you put me full screen. <laughs> that was why I put you full screen. And John's in his underwear, so he doesn't want anybody to see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, but I agree with you totally with everything you were saying. I took the headphones out so, on the speakers there so I could hear exactly what you were yeah, saying, yeah. and I totally agree with everything there. So the reason I bring that up is it, it, it shows those who are committed, and we want people who are committed. And it's not a major, huge expense. Mm -hmm. But if they're not that committed and they don't want to, if they're just – sort of like non-committal about it we, we're not really interested because no, that's a stepping stone they got to pay that deposit fee and well i've changed my ways too and but i've actually changed the wording of it too just for legality reasons i change it to a non-refundable retainer well that's because good. it's you say the word deposit by law even if you say non-refundable by law they can ask for the money back if they don't make it or they decide to change their mind even they if can a, ask even it. if it's a retainer if it's a retainer they can't Okay. If you say it's a non-refundable, if you go to a lawyer's office and book a time with them, and they say, yeah. "Okay, yeah, it's uh, you got to pay a hundred dollar retainer, uh, non-refundable retainer yeah. by law," if you don't make it or you change your mind, they can keep that money because they didn't word it as a deposit. Deposit goes towards something, and yeah. so they can ask for it back even if you say in your thing it's a non-refundable deposit. As soon as you no. word that, use that word deposit, then it nullifies the non-refundable part. But Good. if you say it's a non-refundable retainer. And you'll see on my website that's what I have on there. Yeah. Um, and uh, then they don't, if they don't make it or they change their mind and that, then you can keep that money. And then, uh, but I have it too where you'll see on my website it says it's transferable to another day if you have to book, rebook your day to another time. You can transfer that to another day. It's fair but enough. I also have a, a cancellation policy too. So yeah. if they have to cancel within 48 hours before the shoot. Yeah. Anything earlier than 48 hours before the shoot, then they lose their non refundable retainer. And it states that right now on my website. Well, hopefully you never have to go to court. I mean, exactly. But that's good to know. I uh, I did not know that. So yeah, you can I didn't know it. that either. Somebody told me that a couple of years back. And then if you go to lawyers, by all means, where you'll never see a lawyer say you owe me a deposit. They'll always say yeah. a retainer because you're retaining yeah. their services for something. Yeah, you're committing to their time, and if you don't show up, you don't get the money back. No, exactly. I mean, I I time. get here, I set up all my lights and my backdrops, and I'm getting ready to shoot your picture, and then you just decide not to show up because you changed your mind or something came up and you didn't let me know. Yeah. Why should I be out the money? I could have booked somebody else in that spot. It's good to know. Well, there you go. So, but also, there's the psychology behind it. When uh, when even if you ask, I don't. If it's a small amount of money, the idea that you're getting them to give you money. Yeah. Uh, if you did a free sort of promotion, but you said to them, I need 20 bucks mm -hmm. to secure your spot. And, you know, because a lot of businesses will do that depending on what it is, small amount, but it's not, we're, we're not keeping it. We're going to give it back to you. Yep. We'll give you 20 bucks when you show up. It's a free thing, whatever that might be. And, but the idea is that you're getting them in, into the experience of going into their wallets and giving you money. That psychology behind it is important too, and definitely, uh, it's part and parcel behind the uh, the promotions. You know, when we do thirty ferries in one day, we're working our asses off. 
we book out 30 sessions and they're all prepaid. They're all used to paying us. That process of them giving us, mo us money has started. So, And that could be one of the reasons why our sales are always consistently 99.9% .9 no Nixies. Mm -hmm. But uh, since I'm on this topic, i got to ask you a question, John. Mm -hmm. So when we go up there, we shoot, you know, we're going up early in the morning. We're going to start shooting later that day. And then the next day we're shooting all day. And then the next day for two days, we're doing proofing mm -hmm. in your studio. Mm -hmm. uh, I stick around for the first day until late in the afternoon. Then I head home because I just can't wait to get back home. And I don't like proofing. By then you've had enough of me. So <laughs> no, I, I love you, man. You're awesome. It's uh, clients proofing. I'd rather poke needles in my eyes. Uh, but if I got to do it, I got to do it. And you yep. know, after shooting a couple of days, I'm just a little bit exhausted. And uh, you know, and I download and resize and get all the proofs ready, and I edit them mm -hmm. down, blah blah blah. So my question to you is, um, what are the odds of getting you to help out Tina doing some proofing? Definitely. I thought you were going to say that. See that? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> no, Unless that doesn't bother me. Because we showed you how to do it last year, and it's a process that we use. It's very specific, and there's nothing well, the to it. Well, funny thing was, the way you do your proofing is almost identical to the way I've been doing my proofing all along anyway, so very yeah. similar. So I haven't told Tina this, and I'm going to ask her later on. I'm going to say, look, because she was breaking my balls a few days ago about this. She goes, you're going to do help with some proofing, right? And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I guess so. And uh, then I was like, ooh. Well, I bet you John would do some too. He's already got it. He's got his computer there. I got many TVs now too. And if you uh, have questions, Tina will be there because she's the queen. She's the guru. She's the ninja at this stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, far from perfect, we all are in our sales processes, but it works. Yep. And uh, it's not like we're pushing anything and forcing people to buy something they don't want to buy. No. It's, it, it, I'd call that selling in a vacuum. It just sells itself. Mm -hmm. And I believe the anticipation, the experiences, uh, the, the pain of the deposit, them coming in, go, having a wonderful experience, meeting us. We talk about packages and whatnot. We give them that, you know, that catalog you've seen us use, that eight-page full-color catalog. Mm -hmm. We give that to them under sessions done. We've got the proofing date booked they're ready to buy. Yep. Unless for some reason they're like in their minds going, I'm only getting my free 8x10. It's not really free 8x10. It's included in the uh, session fee. Uh -huh. And I'm not buying anymore. I mean, that happens about one in 200. So, but most of them are ready to buy. So the actual selling is easy. So anyways, yeah, that's that. That's coming up in the end of August. Uh, sorry, July for our ferry days. And, yeah, uh, it's going to be good. All right, can I show everybody your uh, your website? Yeah, I even got it on my side if you want me to do it. Bum, bum. Let's see what we got here. Are you going to show it? Yeah, I'll show it right now. All right. Let's share a screen, and we'll go to... And I'm going to show you a couple other websites when you're done. So we're going to talk about right. websites right now. Website marketing. And this is your brand new website. This is brand new. I My other one was a darker. I still loved my old site. It was a beautiful one. Everybody liked it. I always commented on it. It was a uh, more of a. It had a black background. It had like a, just more of a darker feel to it. Um, but I needed a change. I've had it for about five, six years. So, yeah. Um, what I used was Squarespace. A lot of photographers talk about it, mm -hmm. and uh, you can get a free Squarespace for fourteen days where you can go and just play. Hey John. And then yeah. Can you can you get rid of the logo on the bottom? Live with John and Rob photo success. Uh, let me see what we could do. Where are that we way here? we can see your. Oh, site. I see what you mean. Yeah, down. That's easy. Yeah, let me yeah, just go I figured, to the brand I figured it here. was. And we'll just go to... Boom. She gone. What about the photo success in the bottom? Just above the comments. Feel free to add comments. Uh, yeah, that, well, that's the background. Let me just take that off. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. It just goes white. All right, well, I'll leave it like that for now. Yeah, this way you can see it at least. Now, I can go full screen too, more. I could take that comments thing off too because that's probably going to drive people nuts. Looking um, good. All right, so uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Keep talking. You're doing an awesome job. Yeah, so job. so what I did was, um, I the good thing about Squarespace, I don't know, like, uh, are you still on my website or do you see the Squarespace site right now? We see John A. Butler okay. Photography. So what I did was, well, I'll show you the site first, and I'll show you how I did it. So I wanted something more cleaner, fresher, 
easy to navigate. No, like I just want people when they come, there's no thinking basically. So the first thing when you land on here, mm -hmm. um, actually, if I go, I don't think that's the first page. There's the first page actually. I love so it. when you land on here, this is what you'll land on. So it's got right up here, right away, you can get me on social media and it shows you right big. Yep. I'm going to suggest you add an email icon. Okay, I could do that. To those four. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, because I could put like a little, it looks like a letter or something right there. Yeah, E or something. That's yeah. what we have on ours. Our yeah. template came with that, so yep. I just noticed it. But yeah, we. Uh, I just wanted a clean site to, to land on. So when you I see, like you said, we got that. And like you said, if I add email, then you got every way that you can contact me one way or another. And um, they just click on that and it goes right to my Twitter or right to my Instagram, right to my... So it's really um, my LinkedIn, everything. And then I wanted a sample of everything that I shoot, not just a certain one. So it shows yeah. you a little headshots. It shows you some glamour and beauty, some real estate. Um, Ladies cooking in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> That's branding stuff. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, Ladies, yeah, it just shows you a little bit of there. some family portraits on there. I just wanted to give a little bit yeah. of everything that we do. Ups. There's your baby girl, all graduated up. Yeah, she's actually now going to be 20 in about three weeks, oh, two that's weeks. That's the uh, older one. That's they, the older one. Yeah, they, they kind of look alike to me. They do a little bit. Yeah, there's the youngest one right here with the mask on. That's a couple of years ago. That's a that's probably about four years ago. She Four looks 19 ago. now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just graduated grade eight yesterday. So but it shows a, my pinups. It yeah. shows even like uh, guys working on the job. So our branding stuff again. Um, so it shows a little bit. This was actually a lady who she actually bought all this. Um, uh, what's her name? Harley Quinn outfit and the baseball bat just for this shoot because mm -hmm. her husband's a big fan. So oh, nice. that's what she wanted. So it was a pinup with a Harley Quinn theme to it. Um, I love this yeah. look. I love this look, by the way, because you you get a an idea of what you do. I hope so. And then I just had your Ottawa Valley Portrait Specialist, yeah. self proclaimed, of course, because nobody's going to tell say that that's who you are. I got to make a, my I, slogan. I, I got to make a suggestion. Yep. You probably know this. I, I don't know if we talked about, it, but I don't know if you collect emails or not. But I, rate, I used to. You got this space if they ask right here. My, the yeah. studio newsletter. Yeah, I'm still working on it. I am going to be, I used to have a blog and I had it through MailChimp. So whenever I did a blog post, right. it would automatically go to um, my um, MailChimp that would send out to everybody on the mailing list. But I've got to figure out how to integrate it on this still. Because I can do a blog with this. I can even do a newsletter. Um, and I just got to figure out how to integrate it where when I do my blog post, I, I want the blog to look the way I want it to look. And I haven't been able yeah. to, to get that yet. Once I get that, I can integrate it with my MailChimp. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, I'll be doing that again. And then I'll, every page will probably have the form on it somewhere near the bottom or something. So I this is just what I, you land in. I love, I've always been a big believer, and this is going way back to the 90s. I've always been a big believer in a pure, clean, white backdrop. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And I remember back then people were like, oh, no, black or reverse text. And it was like, oh, man, give me a break. And then, you know, Yahoo and Google and Amazon and all these big website brands came out. And they were all like CNN. All of them have mm -hmm. a white backdrop. There's a reason for that. Yep. You don't need to make it super colorful. No. Or um, We've all been guilty of that. Yeah, we have. But, I'm, my first one, yep. to be honest with you, was a black background with white text, and I hate that. And, <laughs> and, but I changed it within a month. I realized the mistake I was making. So yeah, can we go through some more of your site here? You sure port, can. Port so port now, port. when you go here, just all you have to do is put your cursor on it, and it has there the it drop is. down menus. So for portraits, it has our headshots. So you click on it right away. It just goes to our headshots. And again, I love the look of this. This you yep. can do like a grid. You can do whatever. I just like the slide show here that you can just control yourself. People don't want it to go and then automatically start moving on its own because you're looking at a picture yeah. all of a sudden it moves on. You got to go back again. This way yeah. they can control it themselves. They can go through at their leisure. That's what mine does. Mine, mine does the auto. But I can okay. turn it off. But, uh, but mine are big. I'll show mine yeah. later. But no, I'm, I'm really starting to think I like this way better. Way yeah. better. And it's then fast. I can, I'm able to attach like these little arrows here. I can have them down here in the middle if I want or on the sides. I just like them there because people can see them. John, what, yep. what are you paying for this service with? Uh... Right now, I think the whole thing. Now, I'm doing it the wrong way at the moment only because I already was with a company called Green Geeks here in Canada. 
um, for my hosting and my domain hosting. Like I bought right. the name. I used to go through GoDaddy, got my name, domain name. I was used them as my host, but I was having some issues with them, and I ended up changing the Green Geeks to do all that, and that was who's hosting my site and everything, my before. And then when I designed this one, I paid. You could do the one where it's I think twelve bucks a month. Uh, so like about 120 American to with tax and you're probably looking about 130, 140 bucks a year and you could just design it, put it up and there's only certain things you can do, um, right. with it. You could pay the extra, I think it was 180. So like about, I think it came to over $200. It's between two and 250 that I'm paying for the year, but that comes with the site that you can design. Plus you can actually have uh, Squarespace host it for you and you can have them, uh, you can get your domain through them because you get a domain with that too. So which one are you going with? Are you? Hosting I'm with. It? I have that one. I paid for that one, but I was having some issues transferring my domain and host over to Squarespace to get it right. going live. There's a lot of it, things that have to be entailed, and I just I figured, you know what, my Screen Geeks. Um, I just finished paying the day before it went live. I just finished paying an extra like fourteen dollars for my domain for the year, and then. Um, my hosting services goes to at least October or so. So I thought, you know what, I'll just yeah. keep it with them, keep it simple, and just so transfer the site on to that I, domain. I just want to be clear. People can go to Squarespace, but they're not committed to going with Squarespace hosting. No, if you're with GoDaddy and you want to keep GoDaddy hosting okay. your site and everything and the domain, you can keep that. You just right. basically... Um, I thought I always thought you were committed and you had no nope. go on their servers. Okay, that's good to nope. know. Well, but I am about, paying for that. I just uh, haven't got it done. The good thing about that is you can have then your site building, your yeah. host, your everything on one thing in one so, in one basket, which, which is nice. Well, kind of. It's not a big deal for me, but yeah, uh, I know what you're saying. But let me ask you this, John. Um, when so you're paying that predominantly for their web building tools. Yes. Let's put aside exactly. the host. And, and, and they have tons of templates on there that if you right. don't want to build your own from scratch, you can okay. take one of their templates and then you can change it around to your field. That's what I did. I took one of their templates, Squirt but I didn't space. like originally the way that their um, uh, their gallery was going. And so I changed it to suit what I wanted. So let me ask you a question about yep. that. But before I get to that, I got to clear up and just so people who are watching this understand sure. where we're going with this here. Squarespace. You can go full hosting slash they can get the whole deal where they'll host and you can have access to their templates. Definitely. Or you can custom make your own. So you're basically getting whatever they're using, which is, I don't think it's WordPress based, is it? No, they're not. It's a totally different than WordPress. Yeah. They have their own. I so, had a WordPress before and I changed it to this. Yeah, I'm 100% WordPress, but I'm really intrigued by mm -hmm. uh, this. <laughs> you know, in my brain. And I'll take you to Squarespace in a second and show you how it's done. I'll, go I'll show you the behind the scenes of mine, how it's easy. So done. let me ask you this then. Next yep. question, which was a segue. Is this a relatively easy program to use? Very easy. If I All can right. do it, anybody can do it because I, right. I hated web design. Well, but, you never um, know. People might think that John's really smart at that stuff and he's got this boom, boom, boom. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's important to know that that exactly. it's pretty it's pretty user friendly. Then and right? you can see it's pretty fast. Their servers, it's yeah. pretty fast. Like this is my business portraits. Is this see, I consider there? headshots and portraits different. See, there's headshots, and then I just went to business portraits. You said you said this is not on their server though. No, this is on Green Geeks the server. Is hosting server. it. Super yeah. server. Green Geeks is my server who hosts my site, yeah. and they also ho hold my domain right now for me, even though I own gotcha. it. But it's going okay. through them. And, uh, but yeah, and I just, I explain everything. I tried to be more explained. I didn't have text like this on my other one, but see, here's where I tell you right here. It says for this portrait, it's a $50 non-refundable retainer at the time of booking is required to secure your date. Retainer is transferable in case you need to reschedule, but then it has a cancellation policy. Cancellations right. must be 48 hours before booking. No exceptions. Any cancellations made less than 48 hours from the official book session will be a forfeiture of the full retainer. So I'm, I'm straightforward right from them, right when you come to my website. Nice. I also explain here that there's an additional travel cost may apply for places outside of the Pembroke, Petawawa, or Laurentian Valley area. So I'm trying to be as transparent as I can with everybody. Yeah. And That's every page good. basically has a, we have our contemporary portraits or what I call contemporary portraits. It's just a little bit different. Um, so if they want something more artsy and contemporary, um, we can do that. More like, uh, this is more, I guess, up, uh, what's his name? That was on our... Um, Ben Markham style or mm -hmm. Super Ice type style. Uh, again, we explain what it is. We have a consultation. I explain what the consultation is, what happens on the shoot day, and then your viewing session, what happens there. Um, and this is one that doesn't have a price on it because you got to. I want to find out what they want first so I can make the price 
relevant for them and they could book their consultation. All these little buttons you'll see, it says book your consultation, book your shoot or contact. It all goes to my contact page. Nice. And uh, we have our family portraits, of course. So we have all of our different family portraits outside. It also shows indoors with backdrops and everything. Um, so we try and uh, give them a little bit of everything. So it's, you can see it's very easy to uh, navigate. For my seniors, I put high school seniors. Only because in the States, they call them seniors. But here you say seniors and they think old people. <laughs> so I put high True. school seniors instead. So I got some of my daughter here when she graduated. This other girl that hired me with her friend to get some stuff. We even have a guy on there, which happened to be this girl's boyfriend. So it gives them some samples. And as I get more, I'll add more to it too. Yeah. Um, and it explains everything. It's different than the boring cap and gown photos, what the investment is consultation and this was the one it was funny i had this but then these two blocks here i didn't change them i left them for some reason i forgot to write what i wanted in there and it was whatever temp was on the template and it didn't match at all so <laughs> but you can see it's very easy to navigate um yeah, yeah. the pinups are a little different so far because it's got my pinups on there but it also has the logo for the pinups on there that we use it was going to be originally its own website but it's i'm not there yet yeah. explains everything for it and then it even has a sample video from about four years ago that we did right. um, and the new one will be coming out probably in the next month uh, I shot another one with uh, two other girls so that'll be coming out in the next month then we got our corporate side which has on the job so it shows people different things you can do for your branding and on the job ladies cooking in the kitchen <laughs> they uh, they might even be in this part they probably are dental there office there, there they are, are. <laughs> so we show a little bit of everything we also have equipment, yeah. so if people want, we can shoot their equipment for them because that's nice. part of their brand too. So your images are very good; they're very strong, and that speaks volumes about your brand as well. So, but you know, combine that with a layout, and you got a winning exactly. combination. I like your interiors. Your interiors yeah. look really good. Their interiors. It's even got the pricing packages for them. We're gonna add actually sample videos on here soon. I've got samples. I just haven't had a chance to put them on yet. You use and a drone exteriors. drone camera for your? Well, we do a mixture. So. Um, my video guy that helps me, Dave, he has his Sony 4K video camera. I have the one I'm using right now, which is a 1080p video camera. Um, I have, we both have our phones. I can do up to 4K video on them, and I have the gimbal for it. And then he has the drone too. So if the it's drone. interior walkthroughs and things like that and some of the outside stuff, we use our cameras. But he does do drone work for an extra 50 bucks. Like I oh. even think it says that on yeah, here in the interiors. That, yeah. Right here it says add drone footage to the video for an extra $50. So, that's reasonable you can yeah. almost you can almost triple quadruple that oh price. yeah for real estate though they want cheap and we're only there for an hour hour and a half to do all of this basically cheap so bastards they are if it was a something like what um oh what was he in the states that we were talking to that uh, does the um uh contractors Rand and he does the architectural randy, randy. When you, if it was more architectural and contractors, then yeah, the pricing would be way up higher and they'll get more quality. Not, I'm not to saying that my real estate's not quality images, but mm -hmm. um, like this one here, you can see of the interior here. This was done about two weeks ago. This is actually a, what we call a flambient shot. And it's a mixture. It's four different pictures. You take one of just the ambient. Yeah. But then when you see over here with the ambient, you see the windows are blown out a bit because that was a few years ago. But then we do one where we bounce a flash off the ceiling at a certain power when we lower the shutter speed so that the windows still come out really nice. Then we do one of just the windows really low, so it's black in there almost, but the windows look great. Yeah. And then we do a, what's called a window pull. So we shine our flash just on the window where it overexposes everything but the windows. And then in Photoshop, within about 30 seconds to a minute, you can combine them in a way boom, that boom, boom. it looks like that. So it looks more natural to the eye. I like the sculpting in that shot. With the island over to the left, you. Oh, oh yeah. Gone. Okay. The yeah, three, I wanted to try and show the second one. To, the this old, one here. That one there. Yeah. Yeah. That was for a, a a kitchen and bathroom place here. That this was one of the bath or kitchens that they renovated, right outside this hallway where that picture is. I don't know if you can notice it, but I actually have a flash back there flashing on that wall nice. to light it up because it was a little dark in that hallway. So I light it up there, and then I have uh, the sunlight coming in from a window from the side. It was HDR. And I was able to get all the lights underneath the cabinet tier on to show them off. And it was it just it was one of my favorite ones. We just really had it come out nice. Same with if you look at, um, I don't know if I have it in here, the exteriors or not. Um, yeah, this one here of the Holiday Inn Express. They use this one. I had to sit there for 45 minutes in November cold weather to get that sky just to where I wanted it. All right with the exposure I wanted. And then we actually had one of their sign lit up that they actually use that goes right here in a big holiday inn sign that they put 
superimposed over top for their ads. Nice. So, and these are just a couple, these ones are only like about two and a half, three weeks old, some of these. Yeah. So, looks good. And then we have our about page. Ah, oh, two. <laughs> so, it just explains a little bit about us. And then the contact page. I put that about near the back because people don't care about us. They want to see what you can do for them. So I put that in the forefront. And then yeah. there's our contact page. And I have different information, like I'm a proud member of BNI, um, how they can contact us, write their message. And then here it has a drop-down menu of how they heard about us. So I can kind of track our marketing a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then you hit send. It's got a map to our place. So there I tried to come. think of everything and make it clean. And if you just look here, I'll show you. We're going to stop that for a second. And, and then we'll get to your site. And we'll go to, uh, which one am I looking for? It's this one here. You should be seeing the StreamYard space thing. Yep. All right. So if I go here to my dashboard and I just log in, which is already set. So this is the behind the scenes here. So you can see up here, I can go edit. I can go to my pages and there's all those different gallery pages you saw. The nice. one thing that's nice is you can actually go not link. So you can actually click on this and design a page that nobody sees yet because there's no links to it. Right. And then when you're ready to have it put up there, then you can put a, you can bring it up here to one of the galleries if you want. Or so whatever. if you did under portfolio real estate where it says add page with a plus sign, Mm -hmm. If you clicked out there and gave it a name, it would automatically Mackley. add it to the menu. and then It'll add it to the menu and open up a new fresh page that you can et then edit and stuff. Very straight. Like right now, say right now we're on, let's, let's go to headshots. So if I want to do anything with my headshots here, I just go edit. And now I'm in the editing page. And you see I can edit the header. I can edit this whole block here, how I want it to be done. Just edit section and it has all the different stuff here, the sizes, everything, slideshow. I can change it to simple. Nice. Like this. Right. So I can change it to any way. I think I had it at uh Masonry? slideshow real. Yeah. Real. Yeah, masonry is like um I think it's just like oh, this. Okay. Which is still nice too, don't get me yeah. wrong. That's it just nice. wasn't at first I thought I wanted something like that, but I didn't. So I found this was just nice and clean. John, are you able to go into any one of those pages and add tag words and search engine optimization? Yes, you can. Um, I'm trying to remember now how to do that. And the one thing I liked about this, I'll show you quickly too, is we all have to be mobile friendly these days. Yeah. So if you look right here, there as you're is. designing, you can click there. on that. It actually shows you what it would look like on a phone. Preview. Or, and that, so you can preview what it would look like. And you could have people just click that they accept the cookies or whatever. But you could see what it's going to look like if they're watching it on your phone. And you can see the little drop down menu here that they can click on. If I wasn't there, like if I say, okay, done, I don't, I don't want to do what the discard any changes I just did, of course. See, I'm on my phone because I'm on there. And now I can yeah. click and I, you could see exactly what it will look like if you were on the phone, Perfect. on your phone watching it. So it's, you can make sure your site is mobile friendly. Awesome. And, and then you can click back out to see what it looks like normal too. Right now it's condensed, of course. And if I want to see full screen, what it would look like on the on a computer, that's I hit full screen. It's so very it's user very friendly. very user friendly. And um, you would you pick your template ahead of time of what template you want to use. So um, you use the template with some modifications. Yeah, and then I just modified the way. See, if I went not linked, I can go boom, and I can pick what I want, like a blank page, page with layouts, a blog. Like say I want to do page layouts and then I can choose from these little layouts here mm -hmm. what I want to use but then once I bring those in I can change them I can get rid of this and have just two of them if I want or change things around in sizes they these just give you a template to just start you this is layouts for a specific page yeah and you can see you can do have. general you can make an appointment one they have layouts for if you want to do for appointments wow it's so they it's have layouts com pretty for your comprehensive. contacts services uh, galleries so they have different ones like your galleries. You can choose how you want your galleries to look. I yeah. think I chose originally this one or something like that, and then I changed it to the strips like you saw, mm -hmm. something like that. So it's very, like I said, user-friendly. Um, and then you were asking about um, tagging uh, in that. Yeah, search engine optimization. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how uh, there is a way to do it. There's analytics too. So you can actually see there's search keywords. And you can tag like how many people have been looking at your site. You can see when it went live. I think it was the 24th when I went live. Uh -huh. And then the 25th, I was already at 167 visits on the first day it went live. 
Site search keywords. So, there it is. Yeah, and keywords. Um, so when you do a page, you can add keywords to the page. You can. Um, and I'm just trying to remember when you're doing the pages here. There is a way to do it. Um, yeah. I think it could be in here. See SEO right there. There we go. So you can go here and you can add all your keywords and descriptions. Add and, a description. Yeah, and then there is like a... Um, you can do whatever you want for your US uh, your your URL for it. You can social image. So how it would look, I guess, when you share it on social media stuff, mm -hmm. um, advanced stuff. So there is lots, but you can with this. You can learn how to do it like this way with your gallery and in your descriptions. You can add whatever keywords in there you want. Um, yeah, it depends on what kind of a page it is too, of course, right? So yeah, very it's simple. If you see in the back offs here, like it's very simple to do. Um, and then I can go back to the home and there's all these things here. Like one thing I'm going to try to do eventually is add a, uh, um, like if I go to pages again and you want to add like another page, so I can add a page here and I can do blog. I can do a store. So if you want to do an e-commerce site, you can set up an e-commerce site in there. Really? Um, add another portfolio page. Oh, what happened there? Add is a the, portfolio page. Is there a section with all the templates like for an entire website? Yep. If I go back, um, if I want to log out of here somehow, how do I log out now? Um, just go to Squarespace, actually. That's my dashboard. Um, probably create website, no? Probably. If I want to create a new one, yeah. And then there's templates up here. So when you go to their page, you can click on templates and then scroll down. And you can see, and they can choose what kind of a topic for your pet. You could be professional services, fashion, travel, whatever you want. But you can see, I'm just going to hide that. All there's these, all these different templates, and you can click on them, and they'll not, take you to I'm this person's see, website. I'm not seeing templates. Oh, I see. Sorry, I forgot. On this, you have to stop sharing on one screen. Okay. And then reshare. That's right what happened. Uh, where's popular web? Right there. Sorry, when you go to it, they see it said templates here. Oh, there it is. So I Beauty. clicked on it. And then you have, like I said, all these different templates you can choose from. If you just want to narrow it down to just professional services, you can. And then they have all these different templates here you can go through. You can click on them and see that person's website. And uh, and then when you find one you like, you can use it. I don't remember which one I used. I can't remember offhand. There was a section for photography there, too, I noticed. Did it? Um, yeah. If you go back Right one. there, yep. There's some for photographers. They have hundreds of templates on here. So you can choose which ones you like. You click on them and they'll take you to those. Mine was more like this kind of thing, like it was the dark black background. My the old, old one. one. Yeah, I remember it. Yeah. I never liked the black background. It's just uh, something. I used to like it because when I did trade shows, I always had a black curtain or it just made the stuff pop out. Um, and I usually do that with my trade shows, but with the website, I, I liked it at first, but then after a while, I just got the point. I just needed to make it more modern and fresh. Which and template did you use for your the current I, website? That one I can't yeah. remember. I'd I have remember. to go and I wonder if it tells me. Um, you can't see me where I am now, but um, I don't think it tells me. Uh, no, it's not saying which one I okay. used. No big deal. Yeah. Probably easy to find, but you obviously, like you had mentioned, you went in there, created and a template. And I changed it up a bit, yeah. You modified it. So when you create a template, you can obviously go in there and make any changes exactly. you want. As you add pages, the eight pages are automatically all linked together. And with a mm -hmm. consistent style, uh, you probably can change and modify a page on, on its own if there's something about it you don't like and it won't affect the rest of the web pages. Exactly. Total flexibility. So you're pretty sold. What hap What like you've never been before now uh, with using Squarespace? No, I, mean. I I just I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube, photographers and stuff, and a lot of them mm -hmm. are using Square. There's like uh, Carl Taylor in England. There he uses Squarespace uh, and he recommends it. Um, that is that. Uh, I don't know if you know. Um, oh, I forget his name, but he goes by the title Fro Knows Photo. Yeah, yeah. Um, he uses Squarespace. The guy with the big hair. Big hair, yeah. And the good thing is if you go to those people's sites, like Carl Taylor, if you go to their YouTube and type in Squarespace or anybody that building a Squarespace, nine times out of ten, they have a code for you that if you go in, yeah. you can use their code and you get 10% off your first year or something like that. You're going to have to do the same thing, do affiliate I marketing. I did that. Yeah, exactly. I did that for that with one of them and I got the 10% off. Nice. And uh, but it's like I said, I love Squarespace so far. It's been to me very beneficial. 
and you saw my new website of what it looks like. Yeah. You're so you're so, you're sold and um, recently only having switched over to Squarespace, you're yeah. you no regrets. You're nope. probably going to be with Squarespace for a long, long time. Oh yeah, I'm very happy with the way it is and um and I like how you can transfer from big screen to um, cell phone view to yeah. see because everything's now people are on their phones all the time. So you want to make sure it's going to be easy and clear and no glitches when it goes when people are looking on their phones. And to me, it worked better on the phone than my old site did. My old site wasn't very mobile friendly. Yeah, I uh, I use uh, WordPress and it's yeah it has the same feature. You can see it on a tablet or on a phone. It'll show mm-hmm. you the preview. On any of those, uh, I've got some pictures here. I'm just going to try and dig them up. Uh, I want to show everybody something. <coughs> Why can't I find it? I don't know. Where is it? There it is. Uh, Photo Buzz, June 2021. It's almost over the month of June. It almost. All right, so I'm impressed. My wife got me. She saw my uh, on our cart for Amazon that I wanted to get these new batteries for my video camera because the ones that I had with them, they didn't last very long. It would say like 45 minutes on the battery, and then after 10 minutes, it says it's five minutes left on it and things like that. They're old batteries. So I bought these new, this new one from Amazon. Had two batteries and a charger for them, and. They, they last, when they're fully charged, they're supposed to last like two and a half hours. So I had about a minute or an, over an hour, and I had like 113 minutes when we came on the air right now, and it's actually looking really good right now. It's actually losing at proper things. So so these are good batteries. These seem to be good batteries. And she bought them for you. <laughs> well, yeah, with our money. <laughs> it was like, I just put them in, the, in there to buy whenever, and then yeah. she just went ahead and bought them. So. Well, you married the right woman. <laughs> yeah, I try. It doesn't always happen that way. <laughs> I think she feels guilty sometimes because she's always ordering stuff off Amazon. Yeah. That when I put something in there, she's like, I better get it for him so um, I don't get a slack whenever I buy something. Can you see my screen? Nope. Oh, I see it down there. Yep. There we go. All right. I'll get rid of our banners there too. I wanted to show this because this is my first website going back to the late 90s, 98, 99. Okay. Uh, and I that picture you see there was actually shot on film, but it was digitized and then added paint. I have okay. that as a 30 by 30 printed on parchment with a beautiful, beautiful uh, pink with a fillet and a beautiful frame and a glass. It's traditional mm-hmm. in that sense. It's in our bathroom. It's a stunning image of a little girl with flowers in her hair. And uh, it's, it's a real <laughs> showstopper. So, um, yeah, the, I only point this out to point out that I've just been a big believer in a nice, clean website. Mm-hmm. It's debatable whether or not the blue is the best color for text, but I don't know whether I had many options available to me. How long ago would this have been, do you think? 1998, 99. 98, okay. This is a long time ago. Yeah. So, uh, I call those water guild portraits. <laughs> uh, that was one of my... Uh, one of my terms I made up. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I just wanted to show that, just to kind of get that point across. And this is my uh, next version of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is going back and way back, so the top doesn't show, obviously. So uh, a little more colorful, very very yeah. easy to lay out, and uh, good menu layout. So I had that for a bunch of years, mm-hmm. and then I went to. Um, let me see here. Okay, that's the same one. Then I went to a cleaner look. Uh-huh. And newsletter. Okay, these are uh, just newsletters from my uh, website. Okay, I just wanted to show that. And then yeah. now I want to show you. Uh, and I find your second one there was a lot like when you first started in OBS too. The, the layouts were the same, similar. It may have been the same template. Yeah, probably. Because you were probably starting in OBS at that time. Yeah, and um, it was just the look that I believed in. So Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to show you now. Oh, man. Oh, here it is. Share screen. And if there's anybody out there that's watching us that has any questions or comments they want to make regarding any of our sites or 
your own sites, by all means, throw them in the comments there. I don't know if this is going to work. I want to show my screen. Hold on. There it is. I think. I think. Is it showing it? Yep. Nope. Wrong tab. I oh, I think I just saw something there. Whatever you did before that. Was it a black and white picture on it? No. Oh. Uh, might have been. It was a slideshow, so it's okay. showing yeah. images. Whatever you did just before that, uh, just before you got out of it there, stop sharing. I'm in uh, Google Are you in Chrome. Chrome. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Now I, I'm seeing us there, so you're on the wrong tab. Yeah. So if you go up to the top to the Chrome tabs, you've got to pick the right proper one. You hear that? Yep. Window. Well, the good thing was right. the rain stopped before you came on, and so um, they're not hearing any rain out of my window here. But you got to like the window here from my change room. It's adding this nice little kicker light on the back of me here. Yeah, it's working. Does that show up? Yep. Yeah, you can see it there. It's a like a slideshow. Yeah. Oh, you had it. You hit something and got rid of it. Okay. When I go, when I click my tab to yep. go back to um, uh, StreamYard, yep. it, it does this. If I click over to the web page. There, see, now I see it. All right. So it's done doing weird stuff. So, all right. I know. I figured yep. it out. So here's my current website, uh, okay. which, which I totally really nice. redid. I redid this last spring during the lockdown. Yep. You know, I had a whole list of stuff, projects that I wanted to get working on and this was a big one for me so and it's a wordpress site it's a template i bought yep and uh it's clean you can see yep. same idea and, and i'm using the same what no i'm well, not the same but this the uh slideshow which is automatic yep. i think i can go in there and click on it one out of have you click on the viewer one out of time. i was originally going to do that on my uh, home page where it'd be a slideshow on the home page and then think, on the other I pages do the way but i want to keep it all consistent so i left it alone i think what you have is much better. So, so I'm I'm really gonna look at this and, and, and see if I can modify this to mimic yours. Or maybe I'll go to Squarespace. Should be able to. Yeah, and if you can't yeah, if you can't uh, you should be able to go into your, your template and just see I take it so. off a slide reel or something like that and put it into yeah. something else. So this is a plug in this slideshow. I'd have to okay. probably install another plug in and I don't Possibly. think it would be that hard to do. See WordPress was not my thing. I had somebody else design my old WordPress one and yeah. I was never a web designer. But when I saw um that Fro knows photo guy doing he showed a behind the scenes of how he built his site and how easy it was, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. So I went and got the fourteen day free trial and played around with it. Once I saw how it was going, I'm like, definitely I'm doing this. And I had when, another web friend help me with it. When you are working and creating a new website can you build it sort of at squarespace and then when you're ready bring it over yes that's so what i did because i've had okay. the, my squarespace i had it for the 14 days then yeah. i paid the money for it but i paid like a month before i went live because gotcha. you can put when you're ready to go live and then that's when last week i was having issues because i had to figure it with my host and domain was over here yeah. you can transfer yeah. your host and domain service to squarespace and it there's a whole process to do it um where you un get the other so who you, i don't know if you're with like green or GoDaddy or something like that i'm with known host I okay really, so if you're with really them, like them yeah so you don't you can keep them but if you wanted to go to squarespace you would just have to send a th a uh, thing where yeah. for a transfer and then they would actually transfer it back over to Squarespace. I, for I'm you. talking about the opposite. I'm going to use yeah. Squarespace to build a new site. Yep. I go to Squarespace. I pay. Yep. I build a site. Yep. And then I'm over set known host. When I'm ready, I can bring the new site over easily. Right. Yes, you can. That's, that's what, what I did because yeah. I'm with Squarespace. Right. I just use it to design my site right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I still got Green Geeks hosting and hosting yeah. my domain for me. I say that because if you're not doing that, it's a nice service yeah. to have. It's a yes. bonus. If, it's if you're not, building from scratch where you don't have a host or a domain already, yeah, just do it all through Squarespace. They take care of everything yeah. for you. But if you don't have that and you're doing WordPress, you have to do what I did, which is you have to go set up a subdomain, mm -hmm. which is a, a working place. And that's what exactly. I have to do. Now, now the not, good thing about it's Squarespace. Not hard. It's not hard to do, yeah. but it's more complicated. And if you're sort of... Uh, 
easily lost in the yeah. technology of things, you're going to have a harder time. But well, one of the advantages, I think, two of the advantage you have with Squarespace, if you have it all in one place like that, is a you have it all in one place, so any issues happen, you only have to deal with one company. So yeah. that's a good advantage. The other advantage is, like you said, for newsletter or your blog, if you want that to go out to a mailing list, you can take care of all that all through Squarespace because they have it set up in there where you can actually set up a mailing list through Squarespace and use their server and it yeah. as long as you're paying that one that second price I think it is and yet you can you don't need like a MailChimp or Constant Contact or yeah. um because I know James uses Constant Contact I was using Aweber at one time I don't know if you know Aweber so what you're saying is it's all in one you it's build it one. as you need it you yeah. pay for only what you need. So exactly. with the way I'm doing it so far, and by the way, John, I'm really considering this as an option. May not right away, but I'm mm -hmm. I'm liking where this is going with Squarespace. My daughter is always, she's a graphic designer. She's always mentioned Squarespace, and I've always talked her out of it. Because I had certain ideas that I thought were so, and they were, uh, I think I was mistaken. But, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Why is it not showing? Okay, see the top? I got this top with, I got specials going on. So I got Fairy Day, Fairy Day Ottawa, Prom and Grad Special, School Portraits. Uh, my newsletter, I click on two, is uh, here. And I also got that right here. So um, um, so when I got a newsletter signed up, I got to use a separate company. I've been using AWeber since like 20 years now. Yep, and uh, I had AWeber for a long time. Yeah, so it's like now I'm like thinking, well, you know, I'm going to look at it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at Squarespace. And if it really streams, streamlines everything for me and yep. does what I need it to do, the next time I update my website, which I don't know that I need it updated right away because I just did this is only Yeah, and it looks great. Old. There's nothing wrong with the way it looks. I like it's nice and clean, yep. but, you know, I'm popping this in the back of my brain thinking maybe. Now, you can probably still use AWeber with Squarespace. Yeah, but here's the thing. I'd rather keep it all in one and yeah, just drop exactly. AWeber. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. And I have I have Mailchimp right now too, but um, yeah. I don't know if I can. I think I can still use a Squarespace instead if I want to, even though I'm not using them as my server. I don't know. I, I'm still gonna figure that out. I think you can though. Um, you can see my blog is nice and clean, mm -hmm. and uh, I use a lot of. Um, a lot this of was uh, this was a site a shoot I did of my daughter last week, and uh, oh, you can't see the. Tag, there's keywords in there. I've added a crap load okay. of keywords. Yeah. And uh, it really, really helps with search engine optimization. Definitely. I think the blog is one of the most important things. Yeah. And that's what WordPress was was meant to be. It was basically a blog template. Yeah. Yeah, it was originally. Yeah, it was basically everybody. It's like having a full blog on every page. And if you can get extra attention and traffic from having a well optimized web page might as well go for it i know a lot of photographers get uh, uh a healthy amount of uh deals from mm -hmm. their uh look at here johnny we got uh that's the email right here yeah facebook and, yeah. instagram what's this linkedin it looks like linkedin yeah phone, phone pinterest and youtube yeah i think on mine and i could be wrong I think mine has my phone on every page at the bottom. No, it doesn't actually. I'm looking at it now. No, it Can you see Ben Markham's page? Uh, yes. I, I brought his site up to show you guys. This yeah. is kind of similar to yours. Nice and clean. I love yeah. it. He's a little heavier with the headlines. Yeah. You can have professional headshots that you love. But you see right at the start there, he hits you with schedule your appointment right there. So you have no... Book now. You can see it right there in front Book of you. Now. Yeah. I love it. Call to action right from the start. He's got lots of good information. One thing I tell people, like um, the write-up I did for my branding ones there, is I tell people, um, people, when they go to a website, they want to, that's Peter Hurley's book there, I think. Well, that's Ben Harcum's. That's the one he sends you, yeah. actually, if you sign I up for I sent away for it, and I, I have it, and I'm thinking, you know what, maybe I'll do my own version of it. Yeah. Swipe it as an idea. Definitely. I'm not, not going to copy the copy. I'm going to say it in my own words and use my own images, obviously. Definitely. But well, yeah, when you go on the site, most people have two things they're looking at. A, they want to see what you do right away, and B, they want to know your price. And this is a good. This is an information product or uh, lead generation product definitely. based on information using information to. Yeah. Uh, I'm so definitely been, gonna do something like that too. So when I sent away for this, and I, I sent away for this two weeks ago when we had him on, 
Mm -hmm. And I've been getting uh, his his follow up emails. Yeah. And I save them for inspiration. Yeah. Inspo. It's not just his like he's a great photographer, but he's also a great businessman. He's learned it, of course, but he's also just his his personality is just infectious. He's got a very infectious, and you could see that on his website too. I find. Here's Charles Gregory, who we had on he last said last week. week yeah. Well, we, he has two websites. He has uh, arts photography and then portraits in the park, okay. which is kind of – we, yeah, we talked, talked about talking about that. Yeah, he did. If anybody's interested, go watch that replay. It's really good. I like – What is it? Uh, Portraitsinthepark.com or something? .co.uk. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. He's in the UK there. I forgot. Choose your experience. So I sent away for the free guide, blah, blah, blah. So he's got a lot of uh, – it's interesting the way he he has these numbers like McDonald's. You know, billions served. Yeah. You know how McDonald's has had <laughs> yeah. that since day one? Yeah. Well, he's kind of doing the same thing. And uh, I learned a lot listening to him, that's for sure. You know, he's got <laughs> he's got that number. Uh, but this number here has got me worried. Zero families. Other fam oh, okay, that's okay. That's supposed to say zero. There's no other family like yours. All exactly. Right, that's true. Okay, I, I can love it. That. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Very innovative, so let's celebrate. So he's doing a lot of right stuff, and I'm inspired by photographers like this insofar as, you know, using ideas, uh, including your experiences and your new website there, John, with your mm -hmm. Squarespace. Uh, I didn't know it was that comprehensive and plug-and-play ready. So so here's uh, his main website, uh, Nursery Schools, Schools, and uh, Visual Marketing. He does a, the drone flyovers and what have you, so... Yeah, so websites are uh, a tool that can be used for, especially for small businesses in a local community area, uh, effectively. And uh, with, um, hold on, I'm gonna stop screen. So yeah, and um, for and Ben had two sites too. He had his Ben Markham, and then he has his Ben Markham Portraits. I uh, I uh, he's got the same idea where he's like. You sign up and receive this booklet, and I got both of them. Yeah. Again, swiping, creative swiping. Swiping yeah. is allowed. If you don't have a swipe, I have two swipe files, one yeah. for photographs I want to sort of like use for ideas and one for uh, marketing. So I'm always collecting ideas and uh, modifying them, never plagiarizing, always uh, taking ideas, thinking about mm -hmm. them, and rewording them. Uh, making them 100% your own. So. Definitely. So yeah, that's uh, my take on websites. So we have a, you know, we have a uh, email newsletter that we set up on our newsletter on our uh, studio website. And you know, when we did the uh, dates for the ferry day, mm -hmm. instantly I uh, sent out a newsletter email to everybody so that they can know about it. There's the pricing there for Squarespace. Which one is, is that the I've one I've got on? the most popular one, the business one. All right, let's see what it's got. Free custom domain, which you don't really need because you no, already, I already had. had it. SL, oh, SSL, I don't even Yeah, that. that's one thing I have to do is I have to talk to Green Geeks because mine is just an HTTP. Yeah. It's not an HTTPS, which is a secure one, and that's what they suggest you have. Unlimited bandwidth, SEO, cool templates well, what is it they don't have so what exactly is, what does contributors well, mean well you look here uh well contributors i guess like you can put up the two people that can sit there and edit your site so i can have it in my web designer if i had somebody else doing it for right. me we could both go in there and do it whereas here you have unlimited people so you can give yourself tina your daughter anybody permission to go in and do changes that's what i'm thinking it is uh, mobile optimization website they're all mobile friendly 24-7 customer service. Now, the only thing about this company, but I find it with all of them, so there's not really any difference, is that with customer service, it's all by email and chat. You cannot phone them. Yeah. They don't have a phone number, and they won't give you a phone number. I'm okay with that. I, 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 I prefer to talk because sometimes it's hard to explain it in writing. I like uh, known hosts. Their support is off the charts. And yeah. when, I, when I have a problem, I email them. They have a section. you got to log in. They get back right away, and it's almost like they're just sitting around waiting for you yeah. to send them a challenge. They, <laughs> they're so good, and I always thank them, and they're so gracious and friendly. And you know, IT people used to have a bad rap for being a bit dickish, yeah, 
rude. Definitely. And uh, that's kind of gone away, which is good to see. See, and here's some uh, different things that the first smaller plan doesn't have, but the business and then the two higher one, the executives and all I have, is advanced website analytics. So you, so can you got check pop-up up banners are. too. You can do pop-up banners, yeah. And I had one that I was going to do, but then I took it off. But I might, if I get a newsletter, when you go to the first page, maybe mm-hmm. I'll have a pop-up banner pop up saying sign our, join up for our newsletter or something. But that kind of annoys people I find pop up sometimes. Well, Ben uh, Markham has a pop up on his. Yeah. Fully integrated e commerce. So if you want to do a sales page, like I said, a store where you can sell things on e commerce wise, uh-huh. uh-huh. you, can, you can't do it on the basic plan, but you can on the business and all the other ones. And transaction fees, they take a 3% commission from your sales if you're using them for it. They, I think they use Stripe for that. All right. Or if you do the two higher plans, which are more expensive, there's no commission on there. Uh, unlimited things to products to sell and then it ends at the gift cards so you can do gift cards too so you can actually have on your thing where you can um, offer gift cards to people and stuff and accept donations but then of course you have more of a point of sale and customer accounts and all this stuff if you go for these higher plans can you go up a little bit oh yeah you went you went too far you went too sorry, far. sorry go back sorry. to point of sale point of sale is right there no put it click on the uh there sell in person with the commerce app and accept payments through Square and keep your inventory. Blah, 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 blah. So in the if you use that out, Square thing, so yeah, in the grayed out section, that is not included. I wonder no. if it. But and it so says the, two, the plans are. You can see them up there. Yeah. But they're Advanced. a lot more expensive. Business, basic business. Well, it's not bad. I just, but yeah, I just found I didn't need this stuff. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I have this and it does everything I need. So if I decided I wanted to change everything over, they will host my domain and my uh, my site and all that stuff. So, But I'm Very happy nice. with the green keeps right now. So just in case people are wondering about the pricing structure. It seems very, very fair. They must be hugely successful. I think so. Because a lot of people are using it. A lot of pros are using it. So yeah. almost everybody you go on to now, they're saying, oh, I use Squarespace. And my next thing is I'm going to try and see how I can be, if I can come affiliate somehow like that marketing where mm-hmm. I can have a code too that whenever somebody signs up under my code, they pay me some or take some off my membership every year or something. I don't know. Let's close this off with, uh, I'm going to show one behind the scenes. Okay. What do you say? I don't know if you go had for any. It. Did you have I any? do, but I can always show them another time. That's not a big deal. All right. Which one do you have? I, what do I have? I have the uh, graduation one I did with my daughter outside that time a couple weeks ago with my daughter's class. And then I have um, well, you an showed executive us the, one. You showed us the layout for those. Outside, like with the tent? Yeah, a couple yeah. weeks ago you showed us that. Yeah, and then I had the fi- some final shots from it. But then I also have my headshots, how I do that triangle headshots. I have one behind the scenes shot of it and then the, and a sample. And then one of the executive portraits that I did at on location. Let's show yours, and then we'll show mine. Okay, mine will be quick. Uh, mine, mine will show mine like next week or something, or next time. Yeah. Well, I bet you we'll have time to do yours. We can do just a couple of mine if you want. I don't mind doing yours instead if you want. So, we'll you know me, I'm, I'm easy. Uh, share screen, share screen, Chrome tab, and I'm looking Little for... Bars. There we go. Uh, this one. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hold on. Yep, there it is. Yeah, so that's one of the girls. That's a behind the scenes of me shooting that triangle formation I learned from Peter Hurley. It's a little modified a little bit, and Ben Markham does it too. So what so are the, your what is your layout? What is your output uh, settings? So these ones here, I usually this one here, I usually have as more of my main. It's usually around, um, and usually actually this these are swapped actually. So usually this is up and down, and this one's more triangular. And I usually have the main one at about f eight roughly. The second one here is roughly around 7.1 to F8. Usually when I have the two of them together, they come to like an F8. So they're both usually about 7.1 or so, so that when it comes together, they come Mm -hmm. like an F8. And then this one is supposed to be around the same, but I actually go about three quarters of a stop to a stop less, and sometimes even more. I go by feel, because I don't want that Halloween lighting, that ghoul lighting, so I don't want it overpowering. I just want to fill in under the chin, under the nose, in the eye sockets, and then... One of the shots from that shoot was this one. Nice. That's the same girl. So it shows you that little triangles in the eyes. But it's a nice, soft, glamorous light. Um, and then there's this shot here that I did for a company. We had about eight executives come in for this company in Arnprior, Ontario. So I set up in their actual place of business. 
and that's not it. <laughs> it's here somewhere. That was the outside one I was telling you about. Oh, there we go. So we'll go to the end of it there. There. So we got, this is my setup here. So he was leaning against this chair here. Right. Facing the doorway. This was my main light at F8. Nice. Two reflectors. This was for the side. This was for underneath, just to give that little fill. This kicker and this kicker were probably around the 5, 6 area. Depends on how the people were. I just adjust the taste, but it's usually roughly about a stop less uh, coming in at both sides. And then I don't know if you can see it, but right here, I actually have a little speed light. It's one of my young new old speed lights. And it was actually just shining on this little piece here because this was going really dark. So I shined it onto that. And that's the trigger I was using on my camera. I had the trigger for this. And when it went off, it set all the rest of them off. Nice. And um, wrong way. So you can kind of see there's from my angle. So you got the mm -hmm. main light. with. I had the honeycomb grids in there. Mm -hmm. And then the two kickers. And there's that light right there again shining on these shutters. Mm -hmm. And the two reflectors. And there's from the camera itself right outside the doorway. There's that chair he was leaning on. You can see the picture there. Yeah. And then the final image was that there. Very nice. So those reflectors just give a little, there's still shadow there, but it just softened them up. That's and what you want. There wasn't much I had to do to these. They're almost straight out of the camera. You can see how I vignetted it, but you can see how this was going dark. That's what that, right behind him on that table, that's what that speed light's doing. It's just lighting that background. Yeah. And then you could kind of see the two kickers, but I wanted them toned down so they don't go too hot. And then, of course, you saw this. So this was the uh, behind the scenes, the main light, F8, the two reflectors, one kicker, about 5.6. And then this one was here at about F4.5 to 5.6. And uh, that was the cap and gowns that we had with the stoles. There's my setup there. We ended up putting a tent above me because it started to spit rain a little bit. And any then, uh, any final images from that one? Yeah, and then there's all the final images there. There they are. Okay. The ones at the blue backdrop were teacher. They were given to me from that they used from Edge. They didn't want those. But if I zoom uh -huh. in, there's little Peyton Butler right there, my daughter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But my goal with this was to try and make it so you could not tell I shot it outside. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's these, pretty good. That's amazing. I, I think I think even one of the, a couple of the teachers got in on it there. You can see with the my backdrop there. Uh -huh. But I, I, to me, I don't think you could tell that that was outside. To me, it looks like it was done in the studio. Oh, it looks good. And that was the goal. So Nice. Just to give you a little <laughs> behind the scenes. and Very simple. That's the thing. I think a lot of people, they try to overdo things and overthink things. It's like, just stay simple. Can't agree with you anymore, John. It's very, yeah. very true. Okay, we'll do one more and then we'll call it a yeah, wrap. Yeah, go for it. Um window there we go okay you see the field oh i see it down there i gotta bring it in for you there we go yep so this is uh not far from my house i was out on my motorcycle a couple of weeks ago and i just looked over and there it was and over on this side you got construction and big piles of sand and <laughs> it's almost like it was an abandoned field across the street is all heavy heavy duty equipment it's an industrial area and this little field just sat there waiting so i just made note of it and then a couple of days later my daughter's like hey dad i want to do a photo shoot i want to feel pretty she does that to me all the time <laughs> So I'm like, all right, let's go. I got a spot. It's not too far from here. So I grabbed my Sony and my 135. Um, I also brought the 16 to 35 uh, G Master as a backup okay. in case. If I don't bring it, I'm going to need it. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I had every intention of using the uh, 135 uh, and shooting wide open, which is what I did. And uh, I didn't bring any lights. I didn't bring any reflectors. I just did 100%. Uh, natural light so there's <laughs> across the street there's the there's okay. a very busy highway and yeah. got all mining gear and again construction on the other side but beautiful so, open shade though yeah and this is key because the the um okay i'm going to show you this in a minute so this is the lighting in one That's of the beautiful. shots i had created of her so i'm just auto iso probably four or five hundred of a second because i got to really go with a fast shutter speed yeah and uh I'm just shooting like this was worked on a little bit, but yeah. very, very, very little was done to it other than a little bit of uh, Topaz 
impressions, yeah. which creates a painterly <laughs> effect. Yeah, and the vignetting and yeah. So other than that, I did like I was amazed that all the flowers turned out the way they did. It looks like I might have added more, but I didn't. It helps when you have a gorgeous subject. Yeah, she's pretty cute. I'll keep her. <laughs> so here's a half sepia one. I just did a different variation. Her dress really worked out well because the flowers were well coordinated with the flowers in the field. Oh, it's hard. Okay. It's really. It's amazing that that's this field. Yeah. But it is. Yeah. And uh, had her sit down, and the light coming from overhead kind of came through and gave, gave her a nice rim light, and the main light from the sky, the open sky you had mentioned, is mm -hmm. the light falling on her. But I love that. I love that this here. You could see the sun right yep, there. Yeah, just breaking through. So I purposely wanted to use that for maximum uh, lighting, and you could see how it's creating that maximum effect. Beautiful. And uh, I got some of her eyes open, and um, yep. absolutely nothing else added to it. Oh, Same that's here. That's a gorgeous one there. Yeah, she really likes this one. You can tell I'm doing very hard composition, bringing her. Yeah. This, these are all straight out of camera, and so far as composition, there's no cropping done. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we grabbed a flower, put it in her ear, and you could see that is the skylight yep. you can see facing it, yep. east. And, uh, it's, you know, it remind, it was a humble reminder to not complicate things, and just sometimes that's all you need is whatever is available. And uh, Yeah, that's a nice it. canvas right there. That would be a nice big canvas. I believe it would. That one or, okay, I'll show you the other one that I really like uh, between this one. This one, I had her lay down. This is when I pulled That's out the nice. G Master. She liked. That reminds me of a girl named Shaylin. A photographer, her last name Shaylin. I can't remember the first name. Yeah, and I added flowers. You mm. can see I cheated the cloning. Yeah. <laughs> you can call that peacock. So I wanted it's got that the peacock look. I wanted to work with the. Yeah. And there she's laying down. She's getting a little yeah. tardy looking. But there's the other last one That's I shot. That's gorgeous. And that's the other one I thought would yeah. be is a good canvas. And is that really the sun, or did you add that in later? Yeah, I added that in later. Oh. And look, you would never know because I look at them like, just because I know you, I, I had to ask. But any yeah. other person seeing that, they would think that was the sun breaking through. It's uh, something that Warren Noyce does quite a bit yeah. with his images. And I, I love it. I have a, I collect and buy little textures flares. like that. Yeah. I bought a selection of flares over oh, a couple of years back and. I don't use them very often, but I thought, oh, this is a good time. I, I use them in the fairy portraits, but, and uh, there you have it. So, but it makes that picture a little bit more interesting, I think. Good. Yeah. So that's Without my, overcomplicating. Awesome job. That's my uh, back, you know, scenes uh, tutorial. Even though it was a freebie that I did for my daughter, most of my shoes are paid gigs, as as are yours, you know. Uh huh. And. Uh, We've done a lot of prom and grad shots. It's interesting that uh, we did a couple of prom, uh, grad shots in the fields and in trails mm -hmm. with the grad, like the full-on grad outfits and sashes and that. Yeah. So we've done uh, a whole bunch of those already, and it's maybe starting a new trend. So. Mm -hmm. It might be. I'm hoping to start the new trend of seniors in here. My problem is if I start doing really good at seniors here, a lot of the other photographers are going to like, oh, there's a new market, and they're going to jump in on it. But they what won't. can you do? They, uh, I could say the same thing about fairies and everything else and pop-up weddings. and Yeah, but the fairies, I think, are a little different. They have to get all that stuff and all the yeah. technique and that. Whereas seniors, I mean, if you can shoot – beautiful boudoir pictures and beautiful portraits of people yeah. if they can find a new market and hey all the best to them because if they can do it and people are coming that means it's a good market because people are liking it and that yeah. enough of us can do it so all the best to everybody i mean oh yeah your job is to outshine them all and out market exactly. them all i just do what i can and control what i can control i can't control what they're going to do so yeah i've always felt you know i'm willing to do what they're not willing to do to get exactly. the jobs <laughs> I think that's why I do the pinups too, because nobody here does pinups like that. So, yeah, go the extra mile. Exactly. All right, so, good job. So, coming on an hour and a half, let's give it a wrap, and yep. uh, we'll put the replay in the in the uh, Facebook page. And definitely. Next week, uh, maybe have Maria or Danny or uh, Nathan from Utah, as well as a few others that I've got on the cool. on the back burner. Yep. I got a whole pile of photographers ready to join us. And I next. got a couple that I got to. Uh, to reach out to still so cool we're gonna have a whole we're gonna be lined up right till august good <laughs> good awesome all right well we'll let you go i'm gonna start getting this place all set up and cleaned up because thursday 
is what's tomorrow's Canada Day, so I probably won't be in here unless I'm editing. But Friday, I got grad shoots and passport shoots to do. So good luck, John. Make money. Right. We're keep shooting. Try. Keep Same shooting. To you. Uh, and we'll talk soon enough. Sounds good. Take Thank care, you, guys. sir. Where's the videos there? There we go. Thank you.